Hey, welcome to Kids Craft Lab. We're going to pull some strings today and make some string art. It's really beautiful. And um, I'll show all the supplies that we have here. I just want to show We're you one little camera. string pull that, that I did. It turned out really cool and all from just a little string. So let's get started. Uh, the supplies that I have today are several different colors of watercolor paint. Um, I've got some orange and green and yellow, and I just put them in some cups because we're going to soak our strings in the, um, the watercolor paint. So one of the things um, that, okay, so we have watercolor paint. Um, if you don't have liquid watercolor paint like I do, you can always make your own colorful paint by um, using just a paint box or some food coloring. I'll show you how to do that in a minute with a little brush. I have some watercolor paper. Also drawing paper will, will work. Anything that's, you know, blank. Um, I even use some printer paper, but it gets a little soggy because we soak the strings in water. Um, I got some scissors to cut my strings with, and I got lots of different kinds of cotton strings. I even have some yarn. Any kind of string will work doesn't matter the thickness, we're gonna experiment with each kind. I've got some paper towel because of course I always get messy. Um, I have an old book, you can see that. This is for weight. This is an old book that I put inside a plastic bag because even though I don't use the old book too much anymore, I really don't wanna get watercolor paint on it. So I've got that and I've got Got some newspaper for my table. So um, we're gonna start, but let's let me show you if you don't have watercolor paint, how to um, make your own colors with food. I just have a little container, just a little bit of water in it, and of course you would drop by drop put some of your food coloring in that water and stir it up a little bit until it's nice and dark and you've got a nice yellow color or whatever color of food color you've got. So also, um, if you don't have either one of those or liquid watercolor, if you have watercolor paint box, this is easy to do too. So what you do is you've got a little cup of water like I have here and you pick your cup, you get your brush all wet and I'm going to pick green. So I'm going to stick my brush in the green color and then just keep putting color into my water until it's the color that I want. <laughs> this one's gonna be mint green, I think. But anyway, yeah, I'm just putting color in my water. And so we are going to use these colors to soak our string in. How are you guys doing there? Are you ready to make a picture? I hope so. Anyways, our three different options here is the um, watercolor paint box, food coloring, or liquid watercolor. My liquid watercolor is the darkest. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our watercolor paper and fold it in half. And I'm gonna change the view to the tabletop camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Okay, so there I protected my table with some newspaper, or if you have just a plastic tablecloth that you, you don't care gets messy, you can use that. So um, first thing I'm gonna do is take my watercolor paper and fold it in, in half. So it's gonna be ready to pull my, my string through. Okay, so now, I'm gonna pick a color and pick a string. Um, I have a string right here and I have some purple. Wait, nope, yep, that's purple. I have purple in my cup and I'm gonna stick my string down in it and it's gonna float for a second, but shake it all around a little bit until all of your string, except for maybe the last two inches, which you wanna hang over your cup, gets color on your string. Okay, so I'm gonna do another string right now at the same time I'm doing this one. And this one I'm gonna do orange. And I'm gonna stick my string down in the cup like that. 
So dangle it in there till that color gets all soaked into my string. So now I have two colors. And we'll take this color by color. All right, so are you guys dangling your strings? Looks like you are, good, okay. So we're ready almost to put them on our paper. So I'm gonna put this more set, set of, uh, okay. So there's the, the paper and what we're gonna do is get a little bit of, I'm gonna choose purple first. And I've got a lot of drippy, drippy color on my string. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and just squeeze some of the color through my fingers. On my string, see that? So now I'm gonna put the string on my paper in any pattern that I want. So I got a little curly pattern here. And see how the edge of my string is hanging off the end paper? So now I'm gonna close up my watercolor paper. And then I'm gonna put my big heavy book on top. Come on. So you can see that my watercolor paper is under my book and the string is over here and I'm gonna pull it now. So you can pull it any direction you want and pull it out. Pull, 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 pull. See there, I'm pulling it out. Just like that. Whoa, there we go. Now I want to take the book off. Oops, I ripped my paper. Uh oh. <laughs> and open it and look what I got. <laughs> it made a pattern of the swirl. Okay, so now I've got the other color here. Um, I think I did orange. And so I'm going to do the same thing. With my orange, I'm gonna kind of clean off the string just a little bit so it doesn't drip with the paper towel. Pull it through gently. Set it down. And now I'm gonna make another pattern, maybe over here, two loops. There we go. Then I'm gonna close my watercolor paper up. Oops, gotta make sure that a little tab is hanging out there so I can pull it. And then I'm gonna put the book down and pull on that tab. Pull it all the way out. Woo! <laughs> and let's step in. I'm gonna put my string back in the color that I was using. There we go, whoops. Okay, now off with the book. Let's see what the orange color did. Whoa, that's pretty nifty. So that, that's sort of a yellowy orange pattern. I think I'm gonna do another string and put it some up there. Okay, so I've got another string. This one's a little fatter. One of them was thin, one of them was fat. So now I get to choose another color here and I think I'm gonna do green. So I'm gonna set that in there and soak my string. Whoa, there we go. So your string, so it gets all, all the color all over it. You might have to shake it back and forth, make sure there it's getting there. And always leave yourself a little tab to pull. Okay. And then I'm gonna clean it off just a little bit. You don't wanna squeeze all the color out of it, but just kind of wipe your drips off. Woo, there we go. Move your color out of the way and then do a pattern of any kind of loop or squiggle that you like. Leave yourself, this time I left myself a little tab here on the bottom instead of the side, right there. And I'm closing up my watercolor paper, putting the book on. And there's my tab, oh, you can't see it. There's my tab down here and I'm pulling it. Whoa! There, I pulled it right out. Let's see what happened. There's the green one. Oh, that is very cool. I'm gonna hold it up. Wow. Well, 
enough. I think I need a brighter color. So I'm going to do another string. This time I'm going to do a little string maybe. And I've got some, I've got some purple, purpley pink. I think we'll, we'll see what that does. I think my paper towel is getting as pretty as my um, picture I'm making with the string. How are yours turning out there, guys? Oops, wiping off the drips, putting it on my paper where I want. Maybe I want it right there. Okay, so there we go. There's my tab. That has soaked up a lot of purple. And there's the book. Hold it down, and then I'm going to pull. <laughs> I wonder what it did. Okay, there we go. Oh, I left behind some paper. There. So you can go. I think this one probably has enough of it. And it's kind of cool when you let it dry, you've got a, sort of a mirror image from both sides. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's get another piece of paper and soak some more colors and make some more pictures. So I, I folded it over the fat way here, but what would happen, I wonder, if we folded it over the long skinny way? Let's try that this time. What kind of a image will we get? Probably some of the same images, but it's gonna make really interesting, more vertical. I think gotta do some blue here. So in my cup is some blue, and I'm going to do a nice big old fat string. My, my strings are about 12 inches long, um, and the length doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters about the length is that you have a little bit left over to pull <laughs> when you've got your string all soaked. Woo! I like blue, and I'm going to get some of the drips off it now with my paper towel. That's going to be a great color. Okay. And in side my folded in half piece of watercolor paper. Now another thing I noticed is you can change the direction of your pull on the string. And I think I'm going to do that too. I made a little curly loop there, folding it up. And I'm going to stick the book on it. Where's my tab? There is my pull tab. So first I'm gonna pull up, then I'm gonna pull down. So let's see what happens. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Out the bottom. There, I got it. <laughs> I'm not sure you could see me pulling it down, but I went up and then I pulled down. And let's see if that made a difference in the way that my picture turned out. Oh, cool. <laughs> It's a little bit light. I think I'm gonna do um, some of that purple color again with a big fat string. My purpley pink color. And this time I wonder what will happen if I, soak, if I soak the string and I don't wipe off the drips. I want some more fat colors. Okay, so I'm soaking that up. Got a little piece of that that won't get in the paint. Come on, there we go. Come on, color, color, color. It's getting there. Ooh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna wipe off the drips this time. I wonder what will happen. Okay, now you can also do this with tempera paint too. Watercolor paint's fun, but tempera paint might be even cooler. Okay, so there's my little loopy pattern. Holding it down, there's my little tab to pull out. And my book, whoops. There we go, there's my tab, I'm gonna pull that. And I am gonna change directions with this a couple of times. Whoa, what will happen? There we go. <laughs> All right. Whoa, I really like that. <laughs> you know, I've got a lot of different colors here. I want to try them all. So the next one I'm going to do is actually black. 
<laughs> what will happen? I soak my string in black. That's gonna be kind of cool, I think. It takes a minute or two to get that string soaked. Pulls it up, there it is, ooh. And I think uh, because I have a really big fat string, I better take my paper towel and wipe some of that off. Otherwise it will probably take over my, my picture. So I'm pulling off some of that. Ooh, this is gonna look great. Okay, so there's my string down here maybe. There's a S shape, fold it over. Put on the book and pull. It squeaks when I pull it. There. Let's see what we got. This is my favorite part when you open it up to see what it looks like. Whoa! <laughs> That's interesting. That is crazy. That was an S. Doesn't look like an S anymore. Well, I think I'm gonna do one more string on this page because it needs something bright. How about some orange? And then we'll do one more. And I wanna see how yours are turning out. Okay, so I soaked it up. Soaked up the yellow. And I'm gonna do, I didn't, I didn't, um, drain off some of the color this time. So it's really drippy. Here we go. Okay, there's my book. <laughs> and pulling. I'm pulling off the top and pulling it out. Whoa. I love the squeak those make. Now, now let's look. Well, I can see it. it's not as dark, is it? It just sort of painted yellow all around my other ones. But that, that turned out really interesting. I kind of like that. This is the one we did before and this one. All right, so I'm gonna do one more because you know you can use different strings, different kinds of strings. Mine are cotton, but I have a piece of yarn and sort of some other string that has some nylon in it. And I wanna see what's gonna happen. So this is sort of like a, a test. I have some, a big fat piece of yarn. So we're gonna test that out to see what that will look like. There we go, folding my paper in half. And I'm gonna choose my brightest colors. Here's some orangey red. And I think I'm gonna choose that for the yarn. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick some yarn in there. And <laughs> whoa, where's all of my orangey red here? Some more in here. Okay. My yarn is soaking it up like crazy. That's what yarn does, I guess. It's fuzzier. Whoa, and it's heavier. And it's sucking up. <laughs> the paint like crazy. Whoa, you can see it. Although not every part is getting sucked up. So I'm going to take my, uh oh, I dropped the end of it in there. Always leave yourself a little tab to hang on to. <laughs> You'll get messy fingers if you don't. Well, I got messy fingers anyway. So I'm stirring it up with the end of my brush just to make sure all the pieces of the yarn get soaked up. Okay. And. Now that is really drippy. I really think I should squeeze some of that off with my paper towel. Gosh, my paper towel is getting pretty. <laughs> All right, so there's my picture paper. And I have a long, long piece of yarn. So I really made a cool pattern and I'm gonna shut it. Put my book on it. And Pull it. Here we go. And I am pulling it around in different places and I'm pulling it out the side in the end. Whoa, drip, drip, drip. Let's see what this turned out like. I'm excited to see what the yarn will look like. Oh, sweet. 
<laughs> I like that a lot. I like the yarn. Hmm. All right. So, and then I have one more piece of string here that's got a little bit of nylon in it. So what color should I use? I think, hmm, how about some purple? I don't think I've done purple in a little while. So I'm gonna stick my string in purple, suck it up. Wah! Come on, it's not sucking up the color as much. Nylon isn't very absorbent, but hey, I think it'll have some on it and then because it's twisted. All right, so here we go, stirring it up <clears throat> to try to get the purple on my string really good. Okay, so we had different kinds of string and different thicknesses. All kind of turn out good. Okay, here's another piece of paper towel that I'm gonna take some of the drips off of this. Wow. <laughs> There we go. And let's see, what kind of a pattern do I want? That's pretty good. Hey, here's an idea. I'm gonna do two at a time. I have a pink string and I'm gonna do two at a time. And see what I got. And this one, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna suck off the drips. <laughs> I want a whole bunch of pink. I really like pink. Okay, so two patterns, two different kinds, a cotton piece of string and one that has a little nylon in it, folding it over, and a book for weight. So first, I'm going to pull, whoops, there's, I almost lost my tab inside my, my picture. So I'm going to pull it right here. <laughs> and it's squeaky. And then over here, the other one, and pulling it out. There we go. And one more taking a look at what happened. Woo, it's starting to soak through. Oh, outstanding. So there's my purple at the top and my pink down there. Whoa, I love it. All right. So I hope that yours are turning out really good. And I'm going to switch my camera back to FaceTime because I want to see how yours turned out. Oh, look at yours. There's my favorite one that I did. I'll show you the other ones again. <laughs> I think that one's really cool too. They're so interesting. The more you do, there's never one that's all the same. They're all different. Cool. I'm so glad that you came today and I'm so glad to use um, even different color papers that that looked really great. So you can keep on making as many string art creations as you like. And thanks for coming to Kids Craft Lab today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air rushing out of the balloon is gonna push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, whoa. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to fill two different kinds of rockets today. Work on as fast as you can, set it down, and wait. Woo! All right.